Welcome to video two for the spyware terminator detection and removal uh, re review. Found uh, five additional objects. I'm going to go ahead and remove those. And it was able to remove those. Just registry objects. Really nothing. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and reboot into safe mode. And we're going to do a scan in there. We'd like I'd like to get rid of um these two fake alerts down here. And these fake alerts, if I double click them, they take me to gomyhit.com. So it's gomyhit.com and then somebody's getting paid on that installation if somebody does it. And the other false or the other uh fake alert down here that is taking us to another go my hit dot com so I'll reboot really quick and um, let's do a scan in safe mode see what happens let's see power restart Okay, I'm in safe mode now, and uh, Spyware Terminator is able to start up in safe mode uh, without a problem. And you can see my safe mode banner right there. It's pretty unique because a lot of programs have trouble starting in safe mode or have reduced interfaces. Uh, but no, this is pretty solid. It looks good. I'm going to go ahead and do another full scan. And uh, when I come back, I'll take a look at the results. Be right back. Okay, the safe mode scan found five additional items that are that are pretty big. I'm gonna go ahead and remove those. And it says the removal has been finished. So, yeah, these were real items. They weren't just little registry at uh, registry items or um, um, like system restore items. They were real. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and reboot and we'll see what it looks like uh, once we reboot. Be right back. Okay, I'm booted back into Windows and still have those fake alerts down there. I'm going to go ahead and test the uh, browser. Turn on my network card. And I'll do some searches. And let's try our first link. And I get redirected to a fake site. And I'm getting pop ups. So, um, Spyware Terminator is great for preventing infections, but doesn't do the best job in getting rid of uh, infections already present on a machine. If you're running Spyware Terminator on a clean machine, um, something that's that's not uh, infected, you should um, you should have no problem keeping the machine clean. But uh, there's plenty of other products that are free out there, like um, Super Anti Spyware and Malware Bytes that will remove um, many more infections. Uh, and you won't have to deal with this kind of stuff if you're cleaning machines like I do for a living. So 
Um, I would not use this for a cleaning machine. Like I said, use something else, something like uh, Super Anti Spyware, Spyware Doctor with Antivirus, or Malware Bites. Um, so that's it. Talk to you guys later.